John, we're live. All right. Uh, at this time, will all sergeants please start their recordings? PC <clears throat> started. Thank you. Right to the cloud, all set. Thank you. Backup is rolling. Thank you, and good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Small Business. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video for verification purposes, and please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair Joe and I. We are ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Councilmember Mark Jones, I chair of the Committee on Small Business, and I'd like to welcome you to our remote vote hearing today on proposed introductions 2233A and 2234A. This past Tuesday, Governor Cuomo announced that New York State will fully reopen, lifting all capacity requirements for businesses in New York City. These requirements and the shutting down of New York City were necessary steps to keep New Yorkers safe and to stop the spread of COVID-19. Nonetheless, small businesses have suffered during the past 14 months as the city's small businesses were forced to fight to survive and depleted revenues, small business revenues were down over 70% in March of 2020 in comparison to January 2020. And over 3,000 small businesses closed permanently between the start of the pandemic and July 27th of 2020. As this city looks to exit from the dark days of the pandemic, we will begin to enter a period of recovery. The return of New York City as the financial and cultural capital of the world is only possible, however, if we have vibrant commercial corridors filled with small businesses, such as barbershops, bodegas, local pizzerias, and torturias. The city must therefore build back better as we must make and work hard to make New York City a friendlier environment for small businesses to operate. This committee has done that hard work as we have reviewed hundreds of laws and, leg and regulations which small businesses must comply and asserted areas where we can reform unnecessary burdensome requirements and prohibitions. I'm proud to be a co-sponsor of Council Member Gibson's bill proposed introduction 2233A which would create lasting civil relief penalties for small businesses relating to certain sanitation, health, transportation, consumer affairs, noise control, and building violations. The bill will lower certain existing fines to help keep more money in the small business owners' pockets. It will also create cure periods or eliminate civil penalties altogether for certain first violations. This bill will also clarify that submission of proof of cure for consumer affairs and health violations is an admission of liability only if the proof is accepted by the relevant agency and a repeal number of requirements and prohibitions in the administrative code to provide relief for the small business. I am also proud to be voting on my own bill today, proposed introduction 2234A. This bill will require the Commissioner of Finance to establish a temporary program to resolve outstanding judgments issued by ECB, Environmental Control Board, subject to certain conditions. Default penalties and associated accrued interest will be waived. Respondents will be able to resolve judgments docketed prior to March 7, 2020, by payment of 70% of the imposed penalties without payment of accrued interest. And respondents will be able to resolve judgments docketed on or after March 7, 2020 by payment of 25% of the imposed penalties without payment of accrued interest. With that said, I'd like to extend a special thanks to the Office of Strategic Initiatives, specifically Yanita, John, Kelly, Kelly Taylor, Mark Cohen, Tangia, for all their hard work in drafting, negotiating these bills. I would like to also thank my chief of staff, Reggie Johnson, our legislative counsel, Stephanie Jones, policy analyst, Noah Mexler, 
and financial analyst Aliyah Ali for all their hard work in preparing for this vote. This was a tremendous undertaking and I have to give credit to all those that work relentlessly to make this possible. This is a good day for our small business owners. We have really showed that we value them. And these two pieces of legislation will go a long way to make sure our small, our small businesses survive. Thank you. Uh, Chair, I believe Council Member Gibson would like to say a few words. Council Member Gibson. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning, Chair Jonai. Good morning to all my colleagues on the Small Business Committee. Uh, thank you, Chair. You really ex explain a lot of uh, my bill, which I'm proud to sponsor, Intro 2233, which would provide uh, civil penalty relief for so many of our struggling small businesses in the city of New York. And during this global pandemic of COVID-19, when we've seen many of our businesses close their doors, I think it's incumbent upon this body to work with the administration to ensure that we provide any and all opportunities to make sure that we provide as much relief as possible. We can make sure that we uh, enforce our regulations and laws without being punitive in nature, without having such an enforcement arm. And we can make sure that we provide our businesses with warnings upon the first infraction and not necessarily a civil penalty or a violation. And this bill coupled with the other bills on today's agenda is a step in the right direction. It establishes a balance that is necessary. And I really wanna recognize the entire legislative division. Kelly Taylor and the team work tremendously long hours trying to identify almost 200 different infractions over multiple city agencies among 6,000 that small businesses are regulated by to really find those provisions that did not impede on anyone's public health nor public safety. So I wanna be very clear that these bills do not jeopardize anyone's health and wellness or safety, not customers, not employees, and certainly not the small businesses. But when you look at some of the infractions like improper signage, businesses should not be subjected to hundreds of dollars in fines for these types of infractions. We have to do more to educate our businesses to provide outreach with language diversity and cultural understanding to make sure that we're working with them and not against them. And so I'm proud of this bill. Intro 2233 is a step in the right direction. The staff has worked so hard on this. And I wanna thank my team and ask all of my colleagues on the Small Business Committee to please support. And I wanna thank you, Chair Mark Joni, for your leadership during this time, particularly on behalf of not just all businesses in the city of New York, but in particular, Bronx small businesses who have been exacerbated by COVID-19 and not given access to a lot of the grants and loan opportunities that others have seen. We have to do better by all of our businesses, but certainly those in our beloved borough of the Bronx. I also want to thank Council Member Bob Holden and all of the sponsors on the bill, as well as our speaker, Corey Johnson and Jason Goldman. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you will vote yes. And I look forward to our continued work to protect and allow our small businesses in the city of New York to strive and thrive. Thank you, Chair Jonai. Great work. Looking forward to our continued partnership. Thanks so much. Thank you, Council Member. Does anyone else um, have any remarks? Chair, I think we can call the vote whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. We'll call vote committee on small business. Uh, introductions 2233A and 2234A. Items are coupled. Chair, Jonai. With a big, proud yes. Rodriguez. Aye. Thank you. 
Levin. Aye. Thank you. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Perkins. Councilmember Perkins? Yes, I vote yes. Thank you, sir. One moment. One moment, I'm having an issue. Bear with you. Brooks Powers. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Dinowitz. Aye. Um, um. Thank you. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. That is a full committee, uh, Chair Jonah. Thank you so much. Thank you all for supporting these two wonderful bills. We're putting our small businesses on the right track because of your vote. Thank you all.